What's up guys and welcome back to some more Scrap Mechanic. So every now and then I get a question on how to do something in Scrap Mechanic using the mod pack parts. Like the previous video that I showed you guys on how to build the automatic altitude piston thing. And there was plenty of comments saying that there's like all sorts of different ways that I could have done it. And yes, that is definitely true. There's all sorts of different ways that you can do the exact same thing using these mod pack parts. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create scrolling text in Scrap Mechanic with the ASCII block. And of course, there's several different ways that you can build this. Uh, but the way that I'm going to show you guys today, it does not matter the length of your message and it doesn't matter the screen size that you have. You'll be able to have scrolling text exactly the way that you want. All right, so let's get into it. So I'm going to show you guys how to build this exact setup by uh, rebuilding it right over here. So we obviously need a screen out of ASCII blocks and this is going to be the thing that displays our scrolling message. So I'm just going to toss down, oh I don't know, uh, just a bunch. See this is the thing, this is the beauty of this design. It really doesn't matter how many of these you have. You can have as many as you want or as few as you want. So I'm just going to go with this arbitrary number that I put down. And behind it we're going to put down the smart timer. It's a number logic part that uh, transfers numbers at a delay that you can set. So unlike a regular timer that just sends an on-off signal, this can send specific numbers after a delay. And so then these smart timers are going to be feeding in the numbers uh, for our screen to display. And so we need to connect each and every one of them. And then from right to left, if you want, if you want your message to be going in the direction like this, uh, we need to connect them from right to left. So that the first letter on the left appears on the right first, <laughs> and then uh, you, you'll see, you'll see. <laughs> Just connect them right to left like this, one after the other, in a nice chain. So the way that these smart timers work, uh, you just put in any number and it'll, after a certain delay, send the number out. And in this case, it'll send it out to the ASCII block and then also the next timer over, which is going to have the same delay. So that's sort of how we just get that scrolling effect going to the left there. So we're only going to be hooking up the input into one of the timers. But all of the timers need the same delay. So instead of a number signal, we're going to send a white number signal. And that sets the delay for all of the smart timers. So in this case, we're just going to set something like, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five. And we're going to hook up a five tick delay to each of these smart timers. So again, whatever we send into the first one, five ticks later, it's going to send to the second one. Five ticks later, third one, five ticks later, fourth one. So this white number up here is sort of like the speed of our scrolling text. How, you know, whatever we send into this, how fast is it going to travel down the scrolling text? But we actually need some scrolling text. We actually need a text to actually scroll through. So, so let's go ahead and uh, show you guys uh, just a really quick sort of lazy way to set up a string of text in a memory panel, a single memory panel. So you just go ahead and hook up a tick button into a memory panel. So, you know, you click this to write into the memory panel what we're going to be displaying and just hook up an ASCII block for the input for the memory panel. So right now we're in slot zero and we have a blank. Let's go ahead and write in a blank. Okay, so the first part of our message is just going to be a blank. Now for the next characters, like the next slots in the memory panel, we obviously need a white number signal to tell us what slot we're writing to. So let's go ahead and hook that up. There's our white number, and now we can write into slot one, and we're going to start writing our message after a blank signal. Uh, so for this message, I think I'm just going to write out scrap mechanic. So there's the S, and then we move on to the next slot to write C. And then after the last character of our message, we're just going to add a ton of blank spaces. Not zero, a ton of blank spaces, just like this, so that we have a little bit of extra room to work with. Just put a bunch, a bunch of blank spaces at the end. Uh, you'll see why later on. Okay, so right now I have a memory panel full of all of the letters that I want to show on my scrolling text. Just like that, I think we can hook up the memory panel ready to go just like that. And we see the speed of our scrolling text already displaying the first symbol in our memory panel. So the next step is uh, we need a very special sort of counting system thing. Uh, it's not actually that complicated. It's not that special. Really, it's something that you guys already know how to build. A simple vanilla timer loop thingy. Just go like this. boop a doop a doop And you have a blinking little timer loop. So in this timer, you can actually set the delay that you need to tick across every single letter of your message, and you can customize the speed right here in this timer. However slow or fast you want it to tick to the next one, 
you can tick to the next one right here. So with this adjustable time here, we're actually gonna use this to flick a tick button every so often. Tick, tick, tick. And that's gonna be the thing that increments our memory panel across our message that we already saved in there. So how we're gonna do that is just with a regular old counter block and then a math block with the division remainder function. Just like that. Uh, we're gonna need to paint both of these white because this is just gonna be a random number that's counting up all the time, up, 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 up. And we're gonna divide that number by the length of our message, which I think was like, I don't know, 18 or something. But you'll see, you'll see the effect and it's pr really easy to figure out. So don't worry too much about it. So this is gonna be the, the like the base that we're dividing by. This is gonna be the length of our message. And we hook that right into the modulus. So this number counting up all the time, all the time, is gonna be divided by whatever number we put in here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 15, 16. We'll just go with 16 and see what it's like. And then the output of this number is gonna be the memory panel slot to actually display right here. So let's just check it out. All right, so we do have some form of scrolling text. It, it's supposed to say scrap mechanic, but as you can see, it's probably a little bit too, uh, it's a little bit too fast to display up here, and it's a little bit too slow to display down here. So what we can do is uh, d increase this delay a lot, uh, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Oh, oh, okay, okay, so we almost got it. You can see that there's like still a little bit of uh, jankiness to work out, so getting the exact fine tuning about this. Oh, there you go, I think I got it. Yeah, 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 we just gotta wait for this mess to uh, continue on its journey. But then we actually got... Oh, it's a little bit off. Oh, it's a little bit off. How do I fix this? Is it just one more here? Maybe it's the other way. Yeah, there you go. There you go. So if you get the if you get the tick count exactly right, then you can get the uh, text as if oops, then it looks like as if the text just appears like you know teleports over to the left. So here I have the text scrap mechanic all from a single memory panel scrolling across and uh, it is adjustable. You can adjust the speed of this. And there, again, there's probably lots of different ways that you can do this. As a matter of fact, I would love to see the way that you guys come up with. If there's a way to, uh, you know, replace this looping thing with maybe a smart timer and then also tie it into this number here, then you only have like one number to set the speed of the thing and you don't have to like fine tune both numbers together. But let's go ahead and show you then uh, what happens when you fine tune things a little bit differently. You see that this is a uh, scrap mechanic and then it has a bunch of blanks here. It's only two blanks. So let's go ahead and uh, increase that by like one, two, three, four, five. And let's see if we can get a larger blank. I'm not, I'm not sure what's happening there. <laughs> There he goes. Yeah, this that should be like displaying more of the message that we saved in there. And remember, we saved a bunch of blanks afterwards, specifically for that purpose. So if we want to increase the gap in between the message playing over again, that's how you do it. Yeah, just like that. So now let's try increasing the speed of this thing. We're gonna reduce this down to, uh, oh, let's get it down to maybe eight. Try to get it going twice as fast. This thing up here is still very slow. Yeah, you're gonna see this <laughs> scrolling in a very weird... <laughs> uh, it's not supposed to look like that. So let's go ahead and reset this. Uh, I think we're gonna set this to something like 16. Yeah, see this is instant. No, 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 we need to fine tune that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Almost, not quite. So yeah, that's uh, that's how you can adjust the speed of this scrolling text. And I know it's not the easiest thing to work with. I know there's probably different ways that you can build this. Uh, but for the results that you get, like you can have any length of any length of message saved into a memory panel, no matter how long it is, any length of message and any length of a display that you want. If it's only three ASCII blocks long, it will still scroll your very long message. Or if you build it like extremely long, extremely, extremely long. It will repeat your scrolling message over the entire length of your display.
If you guys have any questions on how to do something in Scrap Mechanic, leave them down in the comments below and you might just see it in a future video. But that's all that I had to share with you guys today. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.